The simplest type of well completion is known as open hole completion, which involves running and cementing the casing above the production zone and then drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This form of well completion is beneficial for many operations due to its simplicity. The simplest form of well completion involves running and cementing a length of casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This method of open hole barefoot completion is suitable for completion of deeper wells or where the wellhead and production equipment are installed above ground. The simplest form of well completion is an open hole barefoot completion method. This involves running and cementing a length of casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This method is usually used in deeper wells or where the wellhead and production equipment are installed above ground. The non-damaging fluid used in this method is used to protect the producing zone from any potential damage. This slide outlines the simplest form of well completion, which involves running and cementing casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with non-damaging fluid. This method works for barefoot wells, as well as for the installation of open hole gravel packs and underreamers. Moreover, it is a cost-effective option, as it does not involve installing expensive artificial lift equipment. Well completion is an essential step in the oil and gas industry, necessary to ensure that the well is sealed correctly so that the produced fluids can be brought to the surface. The most cost-effective and reliable way to ensure that oil and gas are safely produced from a well is the simplest form of well completion. This involves running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone, and then drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This method ensures that the wellbore and producing formations remain stable and require minimal intervention, making it the most economical option for well completion. The simplest form of well completion is running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This method is ideal for unconsolidated sandstone or carbonate reservoirs, eliminating the need for costly perforation. It also helps to provide good sand control, allowing the entire pay section to be produced. Furthermore, it can be easily converted to a cased hole completion if required. This simplified approach is a great option for any type of reservoir. Well completion is a complex process with multiple variables to consider. A single zone cased hole completion is the simplest form of well completion, and is used to set the casing just above the producing zone before drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. A gravel pack screen or liner is often used in this type of well completion to prevent excessive sand production. The difficulty with this method is that it can be difficult to selectively stimulate the well using acid or fracturing, and it can be difficult to eliminate water or gas production. Well completion is an important step in the production of oil and gas. The simplest form of well completion is running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This process involves running the casing, which is an outer pipe, into the wellbore and cementing it in place. This will then provide the strength for the wellbore and will also protect it from outside influences. The non-damaging drilling fluid is then used to drill the pay section. This fluid will not damage the formation or interfere with the production process. By completing the well in this manner, the production of oil and gas can be optimized. In this slide we're looking at a single zone cased hole completion. This is the simplest form of well completion and involves running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This method has some features like being easier to selectively stimulate using acid or fracturing, eliminating the possibility of water or gas production, allowing for multiple completions, and enabling the well to be easily deepened. The only drawback is that perforating cost can be high. However, Various sand control techniques can be utilized to combat that problem. A 17 and a half inch hole is drilled and a 13 and 3 8 inch casing is lowered into the well to start the completion process. A 12 and a quarter inch casing liner hanger is then set at the depth of the producing zone and the 9 and 5 8 inch casing is run and cemented in the well. 
After that, perforations are made and gravel is pumped in the perforated interval. A gravel pack screen is installed and the hydrocarbon is produced through the 7-inch casing. This method of completion requires non-damaging fluid to be used when drilling the pay section. Completion of a well in its simplest form involves running and cementing casing above the productive zone, followed by drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This technique is suitable for wells that contain two zones with significantly different reservoir pressures. By isolating each zone from the other, mixing of high and low pressure zones can be avoided, thus allowing for maximum oil production. Completing a well is a complicated process which requires the installation of various components at differing depths. And dual completion system requires running and securing the casing just above the area to be produced, followed by drilling the pay zone with a non-damaging liquid. This is the most basic form of well completion and can ensure that the production is efficient and cost effective. We can avoid using tubing and orienting guns in the simplest form of well completion by running and cementing a casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section using a non-damaging fluid, thereby reducing pressure drop and cost. In some cases however, the tubing may be necessary to transmit fluids from downhole to the surface with minimal pressure drop. To achieve maximum production from a horizontal well, the simplest form of well completion is running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This is to achieve a good bond between the formation and the casing, and to prevent the fluid from entering the producing zone. Additionally, to ensure optimal well production, it is important to properly control the fluid injection rates, and to ensure sufficient fracturing or gravel packing of the formation. The simplest form of well completion involves running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone, and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This helps to create a good bond between the formation and the casing, so that the fluid does not enter the producing zone. To maximize well production, it is essential that the fluid injection rates are adjusted accordingly, and that the formation is properly fractured or gravel packed. A well is completed by running and cementing casing just above the producing zone, and then drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This is the simplest form of completion, and is the most common for open-hole horizontal wells. More complex forms of completion will be discussed in upcoming lessons. Casing must be run and cemented just above the producing zone for the simplest form of well completion. After that, Drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid is necessary. Any fluid that won't cause lasting harm to the producing formation may be used as non-damaging fluid. This method is mainly used in shallow and medium depth wells. We are examining the most basic type of well completion. To put it in place, we run and cement the casing just above the production area. Then, we drill the pay section with a chemical solution that does not cause damage. This is relevant as it allows for either transferring or using a slotted liner in open hole using external casing packers. This is an effective way of preserving the formation structure. When selecting tubing for well completion, numerous factors must be taken into account, including the desired flow rate, gas and liquid ratio for liquid loading, the possible artificial lift method, and any special requirements for completion, like sand control. These considerations are fundamental to ensuring a safe and successful well completion, which is simply achieved by running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. A basic well completion involves running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and then drilling down into the desired area with a non-damaging fluid. This provides a reliable and cost-efficient way of separating the production zone from other formation zones. Packers are then fitted in order to create a seal between the tubing and the casing, as well as for production tubing anchors and hangers. Packers may be classified by their setting method, hydraulic or mechanical, deployment method, wireline or tubing, or whether they are temporary or permanent. Packers are used to protect the casing from pressure or fluid in the tubing for the division of zones, to control subsurface pressure and fluid for security, and to provide support for artificial lift equipment.
One of the simplest forms of well completion involves running and cementing a casing just above the producing zone and then drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. Wellheads are essential for this process, as they connect the tubing and surface flow lines and serve as the surface control point in all wells. Choosing the right wellhead is very important, as it must be able to handle the pressure, temperature, and corrosivity of the produced fluids. The casing and tubing strings must both be landed in the wellhead, and the casing also functions as a conduit that facilitates various types of workover operations. In addition, wellheads are critical in preventing uncontrolled flow from downhole due to their valve configuration. In conventional reservoirs, the most basic form of well completion involves running and cementing casing slightly above the productive zone and drilling the pay section with a non-toxic fluid. This process creates a pressure barrier between the casing and the productive interval by utilizing cement. It also blocks off water aquifers or other sections where production should not enter. Additionally, it allows us to place a wellhead at the surface for future production activities. The simplest form of well completion is running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone and drilling the pay section with a non-damaging fluid. This helps to protect the producing formation from any dirt or debris, and also enables the efficient delivery of hydrocarbons or water to the surface. The wellhead is the most critical component in the well system, as it provides the required sealing and back pressure to securely contain and transport hydrocarbons and water to the surface. In the simplest form of well completion, running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone enables the operator to have control on the well and to protect it from potential risks. After the casing is installed, the pay section is drilled with a fluid that is non-damaging to the formation. This technique reduces the potential of sedimentation and ensures that the well is safely completed. The simplest form of well completion is a cost-effective and reliable method of ensuring a safe and secure well. By running and cementing the casing just above the producing zone, the operator is able to maintain control and protect the well from potential risks. Then, a non-damaging fluid is used to drill the pay section. This helps reduce the risk of sedimentation and ensures the safety of the well. This method is cost-effective and reliable, offering an ideal solution for completing a well. 